हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस हाउ टू राइट शेड्यूलर्स इन लाइफ रे सो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वाई वी नीड शेड्यूलर्स सो बेसिकली शेड्यूलर इज नीड फॉर लाइक वेन वी हैव अ सिचुएशन इन विच वी नीड टू परफॉर्म अ टास्क रिपीटेडली लाइक वी नीड टू डिलीट सम जनरल आर्टिकल फ्रॉम अ टेबल लाइक ईच मंथ सो वी राइट अ शेड्यूलर विच रन इट सेल्फ फॉर ईच लाइक फिफ्थ ऑफ एवरी मंथ and accordingly delete the expired articles from table or you know hide the articles or you can send a mail repeatedly like each month each week or per day so this is the like repeatable task so you write a scheduler and accordingly provide the time and it will perform the task on the particular time so uh, for this i already created a portlet simple portlet in which this is a mvc portlet and a property file and a view.jsp which is like simple when we create a portlet so this is our view.jsp and when we deployed this is our result so this is a simple portlet nothing else so let's write a scheduler in this portlet so for writing a scheduler we need to create a class i create a class in the same package so you can write any name like and this class implements interface message listener so you can add interface so like we have three options one for kernel messaging and kernel pop and this mx so we need to import this kernel messaging So click OK and this finish. So when we implement this interface, it automatically give us this receive message method. So we need to implement this method. So let me just write a simple statement. so here you can write any code like deletion code from classes or like sending mail anything so i just write a simple sop so now our class is ready so we need to provide the entry of this class in our life ray portlet.xml so after i can just provide the entry of this class so this tag contain scheduler entry so this scheduler entry take the path and other things so we have like one tag scheduler description so you can write any description like if there are 5 6 or 10 schedulers then you can identify by using this description so this is so this is our first entry now the second thing is the class name of your scheduler so like schedule even class and this will take the complete package name like com dot test and then the scheduler class name so like com dot test dot and finally one more tag which is trigger and here we provide the timing so first way of doing this is using simple so we have two options simple and chrome first let's see the simple thing so inside the simple you can provide your timing and accordingly the time unit so like we have a simple trigger value 
so pass it like one so it will run in each minute and after that pass the unit also so our time unit is minute so this scheduler will run each minute so let me just deploy and check the output so run on ant build so our scheduler is deployed and look we have a message so now look the time is 3.53.56 so it should run after 1 minute so let's wait for 1 minute so now as you can see it will run automatically after each minute so this is one of the way of creating scheduler and providing the time now another way is by using cron so you can provide the timing using cron jobs also so let's see that thing also so inside trigger we previously used simple just i'm deleting this and provide the cron trigger timing so it's cron and provide the cron trigger value so like so now this trigger will run in each 15 second this so it's deployed and now it will run in each 15 second so as you can see it is running successfully there is one more way by using this cron trigger you can provide the same tag cron but on the value part you can provide the property key so like property key and here you can provide the key like uh, like every 15 second and you can use this key and put this key in our property file so here we have a property file just use this key and provide the same value like and let's change something in our scheduler and now deploy this so now this is this value is used because we mention this property key so this key and this key must be same obviously let's deploy this and check the output So as you can see it is deployed and start using this so now as you can see this is saturday september 014 0015 gmt 2018 so now look 15 second and 30 second so it will run automatically in each 15 second let's see one more Forty-five second. So this is the way by you can use schedulers, and it is very important topic in real scenario in real projects. You will face this kind of situation in which you need to write the schedulers. So this is the best way of writing the scheduler, and in this place system dot out dot print line, you can write your own logic that can run in each interval of time. So uh, that's it for now. If you like the video, you can hit the like button, share the video, 
एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग